Welcome to how to build the cosine function based off a unit circle in Geometer's Sketchpad. First, we need to construct a point, and we can label this point A. Then, we're going to translate that point a distance of one centimeter, zero degrees, in order to create a fixed line. So we create our line and now that line will not move. We will use this line to create our unit circle. The circle can be centered at our point A and have a radius longer than one centimeter so that it does not interfere with our fixed point. then construct a segment that will be the radius of this circle. And can now hide any unwanted lines or points. Here we can go ahead and label our other point as well. We'll call that B. Now, we're going to use the radius of our circle to construct a unit grid based off that radius length. You do this by selecting the radius, going to graph, and define unit distance. This will create a grid that has a distance of one radius or one unit. We now need to construct our angle alpha by creating a segment that will act as the base, the other base of this angle that intersects our circle. We can label this point as well. Now we have constructed our angle alpha. We need to construct the corresponding arc of this angle as well. So you do this by selecting the point B, then the circle, then the point C, and going to construct arc on circle. We need to measure the length of this arc as well by selecting measure and arc length. Now, we are going to use this arc length to measure the angle of our, the measure of this angle in radians. We will do this by measuring the radius of our circle and calculating the arc length divided by the radius. This now provides us with the angle measure for alpha in radians. So we will go to properties and rename this alpha. Here is well, where we will begin to construct the cosine. To note that if we are looking at the sine of alpha, it would be a segment running from C perpendicular to AB. The cosine represents the sine of the complementary angle to alpha. So first we need to construct that complementary angle by making a perpendicular line to AB that intersects at the center of our circle. Now, in order to find the sine of this complementary angle, we need to construct a segment from C that enters this line we've just made 
at a right angle. We can now construct the intersection of these two lines and create our segment that represents the cosine. Now is a good time to hide any other unnecessary lines. Now I would like to change the color of this cosine segment to make it more noticeable. And I'm going to measure the length of our cosine as well. Now, we need to make this a directed length in order for our cosine function to have both positive and negative values. So we will define the abscissa by going to measure abscissa. And now we have the x coordinates for the ends of our cosine segment. Here, we go to number and calculate, and we will be creating the directed distance for our cosine segment. In order to do this, you need to subtract the x value of the point D from the x value of the point C. Then we will divide this quantity by its absolute value to create our directed distance. Now we have some multiple of 1. We will multiply this then by the value of our cosine by taking the length of segment DC and then dividing it by the length of the radius in order to measure our cosine in radians. This now represents cosine alpha. Now that we have found cosine alpha, we can go about graphing the function. In order to do this, we are going to use alpha as our x-coordinate value and cosine alpha as our y-coordinate value. So we will select alpha and then cosine alpha, go to graph, and plot as xy. This gives us a point that represents the cosine of an angle alpha and changes according to the value of that angle. In order to view the function, we can construct the locus of this point and we now see the cosine function. It is helpful to view alpha in this situation as well so we can go to graph plot value on x-axis. We can then create a segment that represents the arc length that corresponds to our angle alpha. I will make this segment green in order to show that arc length. I will then make a segment that corresponds to cosine alpha and make this segment pink in order to show that it is the cosine. Now, in order to view this function fully, we can animate the point C to watch as the function changes along with alpha.
to do this, you can go to Display and Animate Point. Now we have successfully constructed a graph for the cosine of an angle alpha.